beautiful people welcome back to another video hope you're doing good thank you so much guys for always coming back if you're watching my video for the first time you're welcome to the family Merry Christmas in advance to you all so in this video we're gonna be making this beautiful blouse I'll be using two and a half yards of scuba fabric for this tutorial I'm using a medium weight scuba fabric so we go ahead and then fold the fabric into two. So I have my fabric folded into two. I'm cutting out the front and the back together. This is the back and this is the front. I've marked out some vertical lines here. So this is my chest line. And this is my waist line. Yeah, I will go ahead and place the measurements. The shoulder measurement is seven and a half inches. I will mark seven and a half inches. I'm not going to be adding any allowance to it because this is a stretchy fabric. If you're working with a stretchy fabric, you don't need to add allowance to it. If it's too stretchy, you can even deduct one inch from the measurement. I'm using three inches for the wideness of the neck because it's stretchy. I'm supposed to use three and a half inches. I will use one inch for the back depth. I'll be marking just the back depth at the moment. So I will go to the shoulder here, mark one inch for shoulder slope. Right from the shoulder slope, I will take half of the round arm hole, which is eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches. So this is the chest line. This is where I marked the chest line here. This is from shoulder to the chest line. And then from shoulder to waist is 17 inches. I won't be adding any allowance to it. I will go to the armhole here and look for the midpoint of the armhole. I will mark it like so. This is my back armhole. I will go inside by half inch. This is my front arm hole. Right on this chest line, I will mark the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 42 inches divided by four is 10 and a half inches. I will leave it at this 10 and a half inches. I'm not going to be adding allowance to it. So a quarter of the waist measurement is 9 inches. The waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches. So I will connect it right from the chest line to the waist line. I'm not adding that to the blouse. If you're adding that to it, you can add maybe 1 inch for that allowance. So I will go ahead and cut it out. I will cut out the back neckline so I'll bring the front panel out so this is the back panel I'll bring the front panel out Cut this half inch out. So I will open up the front panel. I will be cutting the side out. This is the midpoint. I will mark four inches right from the midpoint here. That means I'm adding four inches to this other side. So right from the neck here, I will make mark 8 inches for the neck depth. I will look for the midpoint. This is the midpoint. I will mark 8 inches for the neck depth. I've already cut out 1 inch. So I will place my table like so. This is 8 inches. That's my neck depth. So I will mark it right from here to this 8 inches. That's the neck depth. From the 8 inches, I will bring it down to this damp part, to this 4 inches. I added 4 inches to this side. So I'll bring it down to these four inches I marked out. 
So. So this is the line. And we'll go ahead and cut this side out. So I'll be cutting out two of these. This is for the left. So to cut out the other side, you will lay your fabric on the table and turn this to the other side. And use it to cut out the other side. I will cut out the other side and show you guys so we can cut out the damp part. So I've cut out this side and the, this other side. So we have two pieces for the front and one piece for the back. So we'll go ahead and cut out the damp part. Yeah, the damp side is a pleat, but we'll be cutting it out like a circle. To cut out the damp part, I will times the waist measurement by 2.5. That is two and a half. Okay, the waist measurement is 36 inches. 36 times 2.5 is 90 inches. I will now divide the 19 inches by 6.28. 6.28 is the formula we use for full flat. So I'm cutting out full flat here. So when I divide it by 6.28, I have 14.3 inches. So I will fold my fabric into two. I will measure here to see if it's up to the length I'm looking for. Fourteen plus thirteen is twenty-seven inches. It's up to the measurement I'm looking for. So it's folded into two. I will fold it again. Now I have my fabric folded into four. The fabric I'm using is sixty inches by length. So right from here, I will take 14.3 inches round. I'm taking 14.3 inches. So the length of the pear plump is 13 inches. I'll be making the front part, that's the midpoint of the front part, I'll be making it a bit longer than the two sides. So the midpoint, I will make it 13 inches. The front and back midpoint, I will make it 13 inches. I will mark 13 inches here. I will mark 13 inches. I'm still marking 13 inches so when I get to the side I will reduce it to 10 inches here so instead of marking 13 inches around the side I will mark 10 inches so this 10 inches I will gradually connect it to meet this 13 inches So this side is 3 inches longer than the side. This is 13 inches and this is 10 inches. I will go ahead and cut it out. I will cut out the waistline first. Then cut out the length. the midpoint and the side that's the peplum so as you can see this is the mid section this side will be longer than this side when I plate it it will look like so the both side will be shorter than the mid section so what we're going to do next is to cut out the sleeves so we'll be cutting out the sleeves, so I'm cutting out the two sleeves at a time. So the sleeve is folded into two. 
the length of my sleeve is 11 inches so because I'm making a gather here at the bottom here I will add about 4 inches to it because after gathering it or adding it to the band it will bounce up so I'll be making it 15 inches the random hole is 15 inches I will times it by 2 that is 30 inches because I'll be making pleats I'll be pleating the upper part of the sleeve that's the sleeve cap I will times it by 2 15 times 2 is 30 inches so folded into 2 I will mark 15 inches folded into 2 yeah, I'll add extra 5 inches to it. So I have um, 20 inches here. For that into 2, I have 20 inches. The round sleeve is 14 inches. Divided by 2 is 7 inches. I will still times it by 2. So I'm marking 14 inches and I'll add some allowance to it. It's just the same thing for the upper part. So I'm using the same thing I use for the front. Then reduce it at the bottom, maybe 2 inches here. So I have 19 inches here. The down part is 19 inches and the upper part is 20 inches. Then right from here, I will come down by 4 inches. So I will take it right from the top here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it down. I take it from here to the midpoint, bring it in there, take it down. We are done with the cutting. We'll go ahead and join the fabric together. So I will bring the front panel out. So I will use half inch to hem the neckline. I will hem this side and hem this side. Then I will also hem the back neckline. I will fold it inside and hem it around. After hemming the neckline, I will take the two front panels and join them together here. So I will make sure this side is 18 inches, that's the waist measurement. After hemming the neckline, I will join the front panel here. So guys, I finished hemming the neckline. I'll join them together here. I've also hemmed the back neckline. I decided to add that to the back side. You can decide to leave it like that without adding that to it. I just made a little that here. This is a quarter of an inch. It's just how I want it. My bust palm is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches. I added half inch to it. That's 4 and half inches. So go ahead and join the front and the back together. Right side facing each other. The waist measurement is uh, 18 inches, so I have 19 inches here. Yeah? You see why I didn't add sewing allowance to it? If it's stretch, you don't need to add sewing allowance to it. So by the time you put it on, it will stretch more. So I will use, use half or one inch to join the sides together and use half inch to join the shoulders. So after I've done that, now we go ahead and work on the peplum. So I made a notch here. This is the side, that's the smaller part. This is the midpoint, that's the 13 inches. So I made a notch here also. This is the midpoint, and this is the side, it's 10 inches. So I will mark three and a half inches around the waistline. So this waistline is times two and a half of the waist measurement. And I'm gonna be making about 40 pleats. So the the wideness of my pleats is three and a half inches. I'll mark three and a half inches around the waistline. So that's the wideness of my pleats. This is the midpoint. I will start right from here. I have three and a half inches here. Instead of me marking chalk here, I use pins to indicate the three and a half inches. So this is three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. Three and a half inches around the waistline. 
what I'm going to do is to start the pleat right from the midpoint here. This is the front midpoint. I will take this three and a half inches to meet this midpoint here. This is three and a half inches also. So I will take this, place it like so. I will take this to meet this. This to meet this. I will do the same thing around the waistline. So this is my pleat. I make sure this is, is facing this side. So I will bring this one to face this side. So this is my 3 inches and I will still bring this to the midpoint here. Make sure it's going this way. This will go like so. I will do it like that around the waistline. Uh, this is the back midpoint. I will do the same thing I did to the front to the back side. This is the back midpoint. So I'll bring this to me this. I will bring this this way. So that's it. So I will go ahead and they stitch the plates and they join the upper part together. So guys, I'm done joining the front and the back together. I've also stitched the pleats. What we are going to do now is to join the peplum to the upper part. So I'll turn the peplum to the wrong side. So I will take my top and tuck it inside. Right side facing each other. So I will match the midpoint together, the midpoint of the peplum and the midpoint of the upper part. I will match them together. Remember I made a notch here. So this is the back side. I will also look for the midpoint of the back side and match them together. I'll do the same thing to the side. So I'll look for the side midpoint also. I will use half inch to join them together. Then pleat the sleeve. So this is my sleeve. I will open the sleeve. So I will do the same thing I did to the peplum to the sleeve. That's the upper part of the sleeve. This is the midpoint of the sleeve. I will mark two and a half inches gap between each pleat. So this is three and a half inches, three and a half inches. I will just mark it around the sleeve cap. So I use pin to indicate the three and a half inches. So what I will do is to take this three and a half inches and match it to this. This is the midpoint, so I will take this, take it to the side, and take this to this, this to this. So for the other side, I will bring it this other way. I will take this three and a half inches, still match it to the midpoint here. the same thing for the rest so I will stitch the pleat and join the side of the sleeve I cut out 14 inches for the sleeve band the round sleeve is 14 inches and the wideness of the band is 4 inches so I will be folding it into two so I will just stitch this side, the side of the band. So I'll finish joining the peplum to the upper part. I've also pleated the 
sleeve so this is the band I'll fold it into two this is the side of the sleeve and this is the side of the band so I'll match them together right side facing each other I will make a gather I will gather it to the measurement of this band I'll gather it and sew it round the band so guys I'm done joining the bands to the sleeve so we go ahead and attach it to the blouse I will turn the blouse to the wrong side this is the right side of the sleeve I will tuck the sleeve inside the blouse I will match the size seam of the sleeve and the size seam of the blouse together. So this is the midpoint of the sleeve. I will match it to the shoulder here also. I will use half inch to join the sleeve to the blouse. I will sew it round. I will do the same thing for the other side. So guys, I am done attaching the sleeve to the blouse. Is the back side as you can see this center part is longer than the side I use times two of the waist measurement to cut out the bed the bed is two inches folded into two so so I stitch it on the wrong side then turn it inside out That's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like my tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channels. I'll link them in the description box. I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.